on the Friday edition of the Countdown Podcast. Nothing I could say could make me more sad nor wish I did not have to say it than this. It is time for President Biden to withdraw from the 2024 presidential election. The entirety of the FOB project behind the scenes, friends of Biden trying to convince him quietly to stand aside that the polls are insurmountably bad, is over. I fear it will all go public by the beginning of next week. It's time for the president to step aside of his own accord. We can then, I hope, spend 20 years embracing him and congratulating him on the greatest sacrifice made by any leader in this nation's recent history, and also to congratulate ourselves and enjoy 20 consecutive years of Trump being turned down by the parole board. But that is for later. For now is winning the elections. The polling indicates that Biden can't do this, that the swing states are insurmountable. He's behind an average of five and a half points in them. On the other hand, and it is somewhat Pollyanna and somewhat self-fulfilling, but the polling also suggests from the same poll that a replacement younger Democrat could lead in those states by as much as seven points on average, a swing of 13 points if Biden leaves the ticket in favor of another candidate. He should do it. Also on the podcast, there is still more evidence, even in the wake of the end of the Republican convention, Fascist Fest 24 in Milwaukee, there is more evidence that Trump was not hit by a bullet, but rather by plastic or metal debris, and that he's been lying about it. Shocking, I know. All that and more on the Friday Countdown Podcast, now live wherever you podcast. Thank you.